Outdoor Adventures Productions brings you this week's Bayou Country Outdoors. With your host, Susan Melton and Maurice Fontenot. And now it's time for this week's Bayou Country Outdoors. Well, welcome to this week's Bayou Country Outdoors. In this week's show, Susan and I are going to be fishing saltwater. We're going to do segment one. It's going to be in Big Lake with John and Cindy Palmer and their grandson, Sean. And then segment number two, Susan and I are going to be fishing at the LNG Canal. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages. Live shrimp, huh? It's just too much wind to fight it. He has something. Oh. All right. Oh. He's over anxious. It's it's fur. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and it's bigger than Popo's. We're going to let him lay right here so we can put him over Popo's ice chest, okay? Well, we keep him in a lava well. Well, I got shrimp in there right now. You want to toss it over to your grandpa? No. Hey, I tell you what, tell, you, tell Papa to throw his line over here. We're going to hook it on, make Papa think he caught one. No. No. He's like, no, Look that isn't going to happen. Yeah. All right, Sean. Um, oh, back here. We'll put it on this ice back here. Sean. No, put him back here. Just throw him on this ice chest right here. Did that feel good? All right, you're getting you another bait, huh? Some more shrimp to feed the speck. <coughs> All right, I'll get out of your way. You're the one catching fish. I need to get out of your yeah, way. Yeah, uh, Maurice, you need to be moving because it looks like we got another star of the show here. Yeah, that's right. He's caught three fish already, and I hadn't caught any. Because Maurice keeps playing with all his baits. That's right. All right, you got something. Yeah, he's... Oh, I'm going to take Sean's foot off. Yeah, stick that foot in the water. We need some bait. Uh oh, where's it going? Under the boat. He's a fighter, huh? Yeah. What is he? What do we have? I don't know, let's guess. I don't know, Sean, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? A drum. A drum or a croaker? What do you think that is? Drum. That's a drum. 
Sean caught this fish, not me. <laughs> that's a that's a red drum. You see all the blood? Put a shrimp on, what do I catch? <laughs> I had to try to catch up with Sean though, huh? Yeah, Sean's out. Now, how many of these you caught today? Three. Three. Here, you want another one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really thought I had a speck here the way he was fighting for a minute and then all I caught was one of Sean's fish. <laughs> You got your lucky shrimp. Oh, come on! So was that a big one that got away? Golly, it broke your line and everything, huh? Morris is going to fix you up. We'll get Morris working. Morris needs to do something useful, huh? Yeah, we're going to blame that on Maurice because he was trying to get the, uh, the yeah. net. I just missed one. You just missed one. Yeah. It's hot. Uh, temperatures are 99, 100 degrees. Winds up. But folks, if you come out, just be sure and put on plenty of sunscreen. Have you plenty to drink. And like us, we got a bimini top for our boat. If it gets real hot, we just put it up and get out of the shade. And that'll actually drop the temperature out on the water about 20, 25 degrees to get under there. But just don't let yourself get overheated, but you can have some great fishing in this hot weather, especially when there's no rain. The salt water is real salty. There's a lot of fish up in the northern end of the estuary, so don't be afraid to come out. Just, just protect yourself. Yeah. A speck. A little speck, all right. Okay. <laughs> what was you fishing with? Live shrimp on the bottom? Yep, live shrimp. And folks, we're sitting in LNG at our favorite spot. If you recognize this, you know we like to fish here. There's a hump that comes up about 12 or 13 feet and drops off about 28 to 32 feet on each side. And when you got a little current, there's uh, specks and reds and flounders here that... Uh, Where do you want it? Uh, let's put them in that ice chest. See who he is. Well, Ooh. introduce oh. yourself. Good old croaker. Oh yeah, good. Oh well, you gotta catch those when you catch your speck. So that's right. Yeah, there bar too. Barely got All it. All right, we had to throw in my speck because it was too small. Yeah, I measured him after you put him in ice chest. He's 11, right. seven eighths, but okay. we don't that's want to take cool. a chance. No, 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 not with wildlife and fisheries out here. But that is a no-no, no, -no, no well, matter that's what. It. That's it. Wildlife and fisheries or not, put them back and that's right. survive. That's right. That's right. Okay, got another one. I threw up there next to that bank. I said, oh, well, he's putting a fight up. I saw lots of action up there near that bank and a lot of uh, bait hitting the surface. Another croaker. Man, I hope this isn't <laughs> what we're going to have. You get speck, I get croaker. All right, won't you go and catch yourself another fish because you're doing better than me. Hey, remember that one year when I caught that big red fish? Sitting on this point. Yeah, it took 30 a whole pounds, show. A whole show, one fish. I don't know if I can bring that one I that big in this uh, time. I don't think so. No. Today I'm just using a couple split shot weights and I'm using live shrimp. Light line? Yeah, very light line. Uh, about a number... Uh, I guess what a two odd hook, something like yeah, that. Yeah, two odd hook. And shrimp. This yes. is hey, this is easy fishing, folks. You want to bring a place, yeah. bring the kids out to place to fish. This is it. Just a small this boat. Is... It's never really rough in here. Yeah, and it's really nice. Ooh, I got something. Ooh, I think he t he took off with my shrimp, didn't he? Oh, he, oh, he tried. Missed him? Man, he, he tried. jerked your rod down good. He did. I'm gonna go back. See if. Uh, See if he'll come back. Come on, I saved you some of my shrimp. This is where John should have brought Sean yesterday. Yeah. Oh, Folks, yeah. First part of the show, you saw Sean. He's a grandson of John and Cindy Palmer with Harlow Lawnmower. And you got a fish? Well, you no. know what? 
It took it. Look at that. Yeah. I got crooked. This is where they should have brought Sean. But you know what? He was having a blast yesterday, oh, wasn't he? was he ever. He had a very good time. <laughs> A little redfish. He's not a keeper. No, hardly. Not a keeper. I don't know. Let's see. Come on, maybe it's a keeper, huh? Oh, oh same thing. Uh, oh, well, we're sharing our food with them. No, we ain't sharing because they ain't giving me nothing to eat yet. <laughs> yeah. And we'll have a net ready here in just a second. Hopefully. This is only eight pound line, folks, so I'm being gentle with him. Oh, Gosh, yeah. redfish. I'm sorry. I thought it was That's a speck. A redfish. Uh, is he going to be a keeper? He may be 16. He may be. I don't know. It's going to be quite close. Come back up here now. We, uh, Come on home. Yeah, he, he's probably about 14. I thought it was a bigger a big speck. Yeah, I just saw the flash. Back home instead of coming home. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he put up a good fight. Well, we'll get the, the golden rule out and measure him. I may let him go anyway. I don't know if I want to clean fish or not. What do you think? That's up to you. I don't know. He might be he's 16. A, It'd be real he'd, close. He'd be a We're going to measure him anyway. Where's the golden rule? Just back at? here in this ice. Okay. Right here on top. I got it. All right, you check it out. I think I'm going to let him loose anyhow, but I well, just want to see. it's really good to be very honest when you're out here fishing. Don't keep anything oh, that's shoot. not He's uh He's legal. 18 and a half. All right, you want to keep him? Nah. He nah. doesn't want to keep him. No, uh -oh. we got to let you go, boy. I think people are going to be mad at you for throwing well, that's that all right. I, I, we had a big fish fry the other day. Yeah, we used up everything plenty. in the freezer, and I'm okay. not ready to replace the chips. So. Okay. <laughs> on that big shrimp? Yeah, on the big shrimp. Oh, you got something there. Swing him up. There you go. Oh, that's a good speck. All right, you fucked up it for throwing that, that uh, red away. Do you want to keep some I'm fish? I'm keeping this one. Look at that. We opened that. Yeah, you opened that weed guard. We used some weed guard hooks. There's a lot of rocks around here. He's slapping me. <laughs> <laughs> it broke off. Look, but... Oh, it did break off. Yeah, oh, okay. it broke off. That's what I'm saying. It broke uh, off. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll get it. What you got to come to the surface like that? Oh, it's a redfish. <laughs> Swing him on. That's a keeper. All right, I'll take care of him for you since you're doing all the hard work. Oh yeah, yeah, that's just almost as big as the other one. All right, we're gonna measure just to be sure. Uh, 16 and a half. Cool. So, put him in here. Somebody may want him, even though you don't feel like Well, clean. I'll go and clean fish. We always have people asking, hey, bring I'll, some fish I'll there. clean fish. Uh, we'll just put them over ice. Yeah. Tomorrow if you're not busy. But I'm not cleaning fish tonight. Actually, folks, I rarely clean them the same day I catch them. I like to put them on ice, let them firm up, so that when I fillet them, it's a whole lot easier. Yeah. Look at that bottle in the water, and that's not yeah. ours. Yeah. Who threw that bottle out there? Boy, this Susan, one. I broke off a while ago, and I have not yet had a chance to fix it. <laughs> what is it he's, doing? He's running deep. That's a redfish. I'll bet you. No. Oh. <laughs> Lift that up. No. Lift that up. Come on. I got a story to tell. No. Lift that up. Come on. It was pulling drag. I know, and I'll tell you why. Come on. It might be too hard for me to bring in. Uh, oops. All right. Look at this. This is a pile of oyster shells made like a propeller. We're in current, and it, it'll actually pull drag on you. All right, so what? So the very first show we shot, our pilot, 
Susan is sitting there fighting this fish. It's pulling yeah, drag. It's running worse. all over. We're down at the washhouse. She pulls it in. It's a propeller-shaped set of oyster yeah. shells. I just threw in and you got another fish. All right. <laughs> hey, he took himself off the hook. Ah, don't come to me. I just cleaned that deck. Oh. Am I getting you? Uh oh. Uh oh. I well, felt. Hey, I felt that. I must have the big one. You did have the big one. I have the have big one. That, in. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> that was that had the inside of my leg hooked. Almost. It no, it was stuck in there. Okay. All right, I want to get another shrimp. Thank I can get this shrimp out of here. He is twelve and a half. All right, then put him in the. Twelve and a half. Yeah. So we're keeping him. Like I said, I want to keep her away. Grace, you need to put some fish in the ice. That's right, you did have one and you chose not to, but yeah. I got mine in there. It's starting to wear on me, you know that. <laughs> what do you got? But I, mean, I hope it's an oyster shell. Ah, <laughs> no. it's, not, cut. it's not a fish. Cut. Cut my butt. All I'm right, show them what I did. And you foul hooked yeah, in the boot. It's on top of it, okay. Go on, little guy. He's definitely going back home. All these points along here, folks, are usually pretty good fishing. We just like this spot. This bank over here on the south side of the LNG Canal is uh, really good for redfish and flounder. And this is on the west end of uh, LNG where Kakashi Point is. So launching and getting here is pretty easy. About a two minute boat run. And you're in the LNG canal and some pretty prime fishing. Okay. You hey, got another spider. Right. Piece of a little red. <laughs> it's a little red, definitely not. Yeah, well, I got I got the record there. I have one about five inches long. We didn't put it on camera, so. Yeah. You hand me a rag. I didn't know this thing was. Whew. Well, why do you think mine's so wet? I've been catching the most fish. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Go back, buddy. Come on. We'll rinse some of that out. Shoot, you could use that for bait. <laughs> Slimy. All right, I'll bait you up. I'll be a nice guy. I'm going to bait you up. Okay. A lot of little young redfish. That's kind of a good sign. I mean, them. You know. Yeah, but where's the mom and dad at? <laughs> Vacationing. Yeah. They went to Vegas. I got a rig again. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, another speck. That might be a keeper. Hey, guess what? He's 12 and a half inches. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Bite Hunter Outdoors. I'm Susan, and remember, it's great being outdoors, even when it's hot. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Bayou Country Outdoors. With your host, Susan Melton and Maurice Fontenot. You can contact us by writing us at Outdoor Adventures Productions, 1019 Shady Lane, Westlake, Louisiana, 70669, or by calling 337-439-4063.